Alrighty, so here's how you use this mod, the weapon level list overhaul for Fallout 4. You're obviously going to want to download whichever version you want. I'm using the vanilla. This guide is for both, though. It doesn't really matter. And then you're going to need any other mod in the game for weapons or melee. I'm using this pistol mod. You can use any mod in the game or any mod on Nexus or any other site, in fact, even if from a Discord, and it should work just fine. I'm also using Mod Organizer 2. You don't have to. You can be using Vortex if you want, but this is what I'm using. The guide will work pretty much the same either way. You just need to do a couple things. So obviously I've already installed my mods, but I haven't, or I've downloaded them, but I haven't installed them yet. So I'm going to install my weapon mod and I'm going to install my leveled list overhaul plugin. Again, doesn't matter if you're using vanilla or the militarized Minutemen one. But we're going to want to do is once you install it, enable it, obviously, but the level list overhaul needs to be loaded after all of your weapon mods. Otherwise, it won't work. So I like to do this and I like to send it to the highest priority, which puts it puts it at the very bottom of your load order. And you can put that pistol mod up there if you want to. Also, I, I ran into an issue earlier where this uh, turning this to uh, highest priority wasn't affecting its actual ESP. So you might need to come in here and affect its, uh, change its ESP. Uh, as you can see, it's set to a 98 over a 97, so it's fine. As long as this is loaded before the level list overhaul, you should be okay. Now, obviously, you're going to need XEdit for this. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to install that. You should already know how to install that. But uh, once you have all that figured out, you just uh, run and... Uh, I have a bunch of mods installed. None of these affect the level list, so I'm going to actually select none of them and just enable the ones that I need for what I'm doing, which is the level list overhaul and my gun mod, and then accept. You just got to wait for this to load. And there it is. So now you're going to want to click on your overhaul mod and right click it and scroll down or don't scroll just go to here and uh, this add masters button click that and the only one i only have one mod appearing here because i only loaded in my fallout and my mods so you might have a long list here if you do just enable all the ones that you want to add to your level list overhaul so if you have like like 100 gun mods and 200 melee weapon mods just add them here and it should be fine once you check it click OK. It's going to give you a warning. Don't worry about that. It's not a big deal. Just accept it. And then it should take a second. Now you want to go to, to your level list overhaul and you're going to want to expand it. Expand the leveled item tab as well. And then scroll all the way down. Some of these, um, these greens might be red for you. If they are, you can click on them. And if you see a red in any of these tabs, these are each leveled list entries. So this is the base game, and then this is the level list overhaul mod that's adding an additional entry to the level list. So if you have like better locational damage or any other mod that is uh, it contributing to the level list, you can just right click it and remove them. That's what I would do. So all of these should be green though. If they aren't all green, then you're doing something wrong and one of your mods is interfering with your level list. And I would suggest either deleting the mod or deleting the leveled list script in the mod, which is very easy to do. Like I said, you just come over here, hit remove. You have to do it manually for each one, but... All right, so you see these um, five tabs down here. So this is obviously pistol, shotguns, uh, assault rifles, battle rifles, and SMGs, as they're conveniently labeled. So I'm adding a pistol. So even if you want to add a pistol into the shotguns tab, you can. There's no problem with that, but... As you can see, this is shotguns, so it's referenced by all of the shotgun or type shotgun in the game. Obviously, you can see like Flamer, that's not a shotgun. It's not a big deal. It's just uh, convenient labels. You can add any gun to any category and it doesn't matter, but if you add the Glock to the rifles, the Glock will replace these types of weapons. So the Glock will replace the hunting rifle, it'll replace the baseball bat, shit like that. But I want to add it to my pistol category. So now when you're in a pistol category, you just click it, just left click, and you see this leveled list entry tab, and it's already kind of filled out for you. So you're going to want to add the, um, the form ID from the weapon mod 
to this levelless entry spot. And you're going to want to make sure the level is set to 1. That means what level the gun will start appearing at. So if this is set to level 20, it'll start appearing only at level 20. Count every additional... Pr pretty much what, how this works is if, let's say there's a pistol spawn at level 10, and it's supposed to be on this specific, specific character. If you have it set more than one, it'll spawn more than one on that character. And then chance none, how that works is, let's say you have it at uh, one, there is a 1% chance that that gun simply will not spawn, and it will spawn nothing instead. So you should always keep the chance none at zero. I like to keep my level at 1, because why wouldn't you? And then uh, count at 1, obviously, as well. So to get this, uh, the Glock 19's uh, form ID, it's very simple. So obviously, we're in the pistol, ca uh, pistol category. We're at the level list entry. You scroll up to your uh, mod, whatever it is. doesn't matter what it is. Any mod in the entire game or Nexus. Click on the Expand tab for the Glock 19X. Scroll down to or find the Weapon tab all of the weapon mods will have a weapon tab so don't worry if it is not there then it's an issue with the mod not the uh not you trust me so expand the weapon tab and then you should see um for example the glock 19x only has one uh entry in here but there are mods like combined arms or the russian assault pack or just uh, other mods that add like uniques or specials into the into their mod don't really worry about those just get the base one um i don't Sometimes you might not be able to find what the base one is. Not a very big deal. Just try to find which one you want to add. So obviously I want to add this one. So I'm going to click on that. Just left click it. And then right click it. And then you should see a place where it says change form ID. You want to click that. So don't click anything here. You just want to hit control C to copy it. And then cancel. Because you don't want to change that, that code. And then you come back down to your pistols right here and you go to that level of entry click it right click edit control v for pasting and then hit okay and as you can see it already filled in my glock 19x so now when i go in game any reference that's in this pistol tab all of these guns will be the glock 19x and you will never find these guns again unless it's like a special gun or it's like a set specific on a character but that's more in depth uh, but generally, when you see any of these guns in the game, it will be a Glock 19X. And if you only want the Glock 19X to spawn or any other gun you want, you can do that to all of these, which is what I'm going to do for the purposes of this tutorial. All right. So. Now that I have all of these set to that. So let's say that you have more than one. You don't want to just add a Glock 19X. You want to add something in addition to it. Well, you would hover over this uh, in any of these categories. You would hover over this leveled list entry tab, right click it in this empty box here and click add. So this will add an additional leveled list entry. And so how this works is, uh, let's say, pretend that this is not a Glock 19X. Pretend that's just some other fucking random gun. And make sure, obviously, to put the level at 1, the count at 1, and the chance at 0. Let's say this is like an AK mod, right? And this is a Glock 19X. So let's say there's an NPC that is supposed to spawn one of these referenced weapons. It has a 50% chance of spawning either this AK or this Glock 19X. So if you have multiple entries, let's say I have a thousand entries in here, every single one of these mods has a percentage of a chance to be put in there. So let's say I have this AK mod in here and this Glock 19X in here. If I add another entry and I make this a Glock 19X. So now I have a Glock 19X, a Glock 19X, and an AK mod, right? Now the AK has a 33% chance of spawning and the Glock, even though there's two, they have a 66 point whatever percent chance of spawning. And that's how that works. And you can do that for every single category if you prefer. So if you want like maybe uh, like 100 AKs, but then you want oh, like a 1% or a 2% chance for a rocket launcher to spawn, you can do that. And that's how you do it. And that's, it works the same way for every single mod. Now, there's a bit more in-depth thing you can do here that I like to is uh, go to the specific mod and click on the quest category. 
So some mods will interfere with the levelness by adding in a quest script. A quest script isn't an actual quest. It's a an injector. So uh, like you see how this says quest level list. I'm actually going to delete that. So you just right click it and you click remove. And it might give you a warning. Yeah, that's fine. The reason why you want to do that is because let's say you mess with your level list and you have it all perfect, but then you go in game and it doesn't work. It's probably because you have a mod with a quest script that has a level list injection script that will replace what you have set up. And you don't want that. So you can come in here and just do that. Um, if you ever see a quest that says mod slots, you never want to delete that. Um, I don't know exactly what it does, but I was told by the mod author you don't ever want to delete that, so don't. Um, and then the rest of these you can delete with very little to no issue. This will actually delete um, some parts of the mod in terms of if it is actually a quest, but I mean, I don't, I want it level, and for me personally, I just want it as a gun that can spawn, so you do with that what you will. But if you ever see a level list script in there, you can de definitely delete that. Now, to save your progress, you can just close out. It'll pop up a warning or a save change file and just click OK. And uh, boom, there you're good to go. So now, as long as your level list overhaul is at the bottom and your other gun is up top in the plugins and the load order tab, you can swap over to your Fallout 4 script extended version and run it and test it out. See if you have your gun in game, which is what I'm going to do just to show you guys it's working properly. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. I have the uh, SKK fast start mod. If anybody's curious, highly recommend it. Makes starting the game so quick. <clears throat> Alright, so we're probably going to spawn with the 10mm pistol still, even though we overwrit all of the scripts, but um, that's a, a specific injection like I mentioned earlier. That has nothing to do with the actual uh, plug-in. Um, gotta do this real quick. Alright, so I did spawn with the uh, Glock 19X, uh, but that's not what we want. Uh, the reason why, again, this 10mm spawned is because that's on a specific quest injection in the actual base game. That's not a level this thing. That's, that's a set script, so um, we're going to go down and find an enemy, and uh, they should have a Glock 19X on them. Everybody, in fact, should have a Glock 19X. We're just going to run to uh, Concord real quick, and I'll uh, show you the, all of the enemies there should be running a Glock 19X. And uh, I know that there's a 10 millimeter uh, pistol that always spawns in this red rocket, so we can actually go check and make sure there is a Glock 19X there as well. Yeah, go dog meat. Let's go. Fuck them up. So as you can see, there is in fact a Glock 19X in this uh, cabinet where the um, in this tool chest where the uh, the 10 mm 10 millimeter pistol spawns. Just to double check though, we will run down the Concord real quick and show you that everybody there does in fact have a Glock 19X on them. And 
And as you can see, they are shooting at me with a Glock 19X. Let me see if I can kill somebody real quick to show you they have a Glock 19. See, they do in fact have a Glock 19X pistol. So that's pretty much how that works. Uh, pretty easy to do. Um, you can do that with as many weapons as you want. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and uh, hopefully, hopefully everything goes well for you guys. Peace out.